Hello guys, in this After Effects tutorials, I'm going to show you how to create a slick logo animation like this one. We're not going to need any external plugin, so stick around, let's get started. So right inside Adobe After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition. Feel free to use your setting here, any settings will do. Then you right click on your timeline and then create a new solid layer. Then we hit OK. So we're going to add a gradient ramp to this. Now we're going to set the color to a very light gray. Then you hit OK. So we set the second color to be white and then change this to radial and then move this point to center. Navigate to where you have your logo, drag and drop it into the project timeline. That is going to automatically import, then select it to be footage, then you hit OK. Then Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose this. You can name this logo holder. Move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK. Let's animate the scale, position and opacity to add a mild movement to the logo. Highlight all your keyframes, then right click on your timeline, go to keyframe assistance, then set it to easy ease. Open the edit speed graph and then turn your graph to any shape you may want the movement to look like. So hit N on your timeline to set the preview limit, then if you preview now, this is what you have. A simple mild movement to the logo. Nice. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the logo, then hide the duplicate, then we're going to split this into three parts using the pen tool. So after splitting the logo using the pen tool into three parts, then offset them away from each other by seven frame each. So select the three parts, Ctrl Shift C on your keyboard to pre-compose them. Make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then you hit OK. So if you preview now, this is what you're going to have. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. On the bottom logo parts duplicate, we're going to add a fill color. Then hit S on your keyboard to scale it out a bit to be a little bit bigger than the main logo. Change this color to gray. Now we're going to add Gaussian blur. We're going to increase the blur amount. So now we're going to animate the scale to this point where the entire logo has stopped moving. So we're going to hit S on the keyboard to set the scale keyframe. We're going to set a keyframe for the blur amount at this point also. Now on your timeline, the first logo duplicate, select it, Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it again, then you unhide it, bring it to the top of the hierarchy right here, then add a fill color. Set this fill color to gray. On this one, we're going to go to the last keyframe for the scale and scale it out quite a bit. Also go to the last opacity right here and drop the opacity so that we can see the logo behind it. To this point where the logo finish animating the scale, we'll add a new keyframe for the opacity. Then we'll finish it up with a zero opacity value. Then pull back, pick the pen tool and mask half of it out. We're going to offset it on the timeline so that it can come in just a bit later. So if you preview what you have now, this is what you got. Now Ctrl N on your keyboard to create a new composition. We're going to use this as the light sweep. So right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new solid white layer. So pull back, we're going to stretch this on the X axis 
and then make it tiny on the Y axis. Hit R on your keyboard to rotate it. Hit P on the keyboard to reveal the position. Set a keyframe for the position and move it up out of the frame. And go to 7 seconds forward in time and then pull it back right down below to the right. And this is what you have. So go back to the main composition. Drag and drop the light sweep into the project timeline. Hit T on your keyboard to drop the opacity. Toggle your timeline, then set the track mark to the hidden logo composition. Search for CC Borbalize. Also add CC Glass. So you can tweak these settings to your heart content. But make sure on the bulbliness, you set the bulb layer to the logo composition. Also on the CC glass, make sure you set the bump layer to the logo composition. Let's add turbulent displacement. Alt click on the evolution, then add time asterisk 30. If you preview the entire animation now, this is what you have. Beautiful. So let's add some glow. Select the logo parts on top, then add a glow. Move your time indicator to the point before the light sweep start coming in and then set a keyframe for the glow intensity and radius. Then you move back before then and set the radius and intensity to zero. Move after that and also set the intensity and radius to zero. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate this logo part. Then add a fill, change the fill color to dark gray, add a Gaussian blur, make blurriness 100. Now hit Y on your keyboard to activate the anchor point tool and move the anchor point right to the bottom left corner right here. Hit V to drop it, then hit R to reveal the rotation properties. At this point, you need to make it 3D and then rotate it forward on the X axis. Hit S on your keyboard to scale it down. Then hit T on your keyboard to drop the opacity significantly. So if you preview now, this is what you have. Almost everything about the logo effect is ready but now i'm gonna put some finishing touches to make it look like a professional so what i'm gonna do now is to add a little more of blur then parent it to a null object and then add a text these are all optional so after adding those options this is what i have take note i added my final blur Gaussian blur on an adjustment layer. I then created a keyframe for the blurriness to 100 and then to zero at the end so that it can affect all the effect, including the glue right below it. I then parented it to the null object where I used to scale down the logo toward the end so that I can bring in the text. So this is how you can create a simple but yet unique logo animation right inside Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you're able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.